To set up this experiment, we've already labeled our three test tubes, and we'll begin by placing the contents listed on page 106 in table 5.3. It tells you in the instructions on page 108 that we need to be careful about the sequence. We want to put succinate in last, that is the substrate. So let's begin with our buffer first. And tube one should have 4.4. In tube two, we should have 4.2. And lastly, tube three should have just four mils. buffer. Okay. Next we'll put in our DCPIP. You'll notice we're using 0.3 in all of them. Not sure if you can notice the color is a very bright bluish purple. It also has a high affinity for the pipette. Next, we'll add our mitochondrial suspension. So remember, this is isolated from lima beans. We're again only gonna use 0.3 mils. It tells us to use paraffin wax paper to seal and mix each of our tubes. We won't contaminate, we'll use a separate piece for each. Note the color.
Lastly, we'll add our succinate. Now, succinate will not be added in tube one, but we'll have it in tubes two and three. In tube two, we're looking to add point two. And in tube three, point four. All right. Now each of our tubes is filled with the contents listed on table 5.3. Note their initial colors. Is there a discernible difference between each of these blues? To the human eye, it's difficult. Blues aren't always easily recognizable. So, we're going to use an electronic method using a colorimeter. So what a colorimeter allows you to do is to put some samples into a small cuvette. That cuvette will be placed inside this machine which has a chamber that shines a light through the cuvette. Now each of the cuvettes has clear sides, so we will fill these up, stick them in there, close it, and allow it to read the amount of light passing through or the amount of light not passing through that substance. That will give us a value that we can estimate for each of these test tubes. So let's go ahead and get to the next step.